Summit. We're leaving town, baby. Hi, I'm Bonnie Francis, and we're here because the Senior Summit is coming up on May 18th out at the 4-H grounds outside of Centerville, and it'll run 9 to 2. And some of the vendors that are going to be out there and sponsors are here to let us know what they have to offer out there. Um, There'll be food out there for sale and um, music, some demonstrations. I have Beth Mackle here from Digestive Disorders Disorders Associates. Associates, okay. And um, she's going to tell us about her table first, and then I want you to talk about some of the things that seniors might have to consider um, with digestion. Well, this is our fourth year coming to the Senior Expo and our third year of sponsorship, and we love this event. Uh, We love meeting new people, and we love seeing our existing patients. We'll be there. We'll have giveaways with logo stuff. Um, Last year we had peppermints. We'll have some more of those pens, probably some bags. And this year we're also going to have a dietary supplement, um, two of them, IB Guard and FD Guard, which will be free. Um, They're over-the-counter supplements that aren't medication, but Mm -hmm. they work like medication. Is it a powder or? It's a a powder inside of a capsule um, that you take orally, and one of them has peppermint and peppermint is known to calm the stomach the issue is with taking it uh just naturally you have you have to figure out a way to get the peppermint to dissolve in your stomach not your esophagus like it would with a breath mint okay so they have a patent technology that is that will this capsule is designed to dissolve yeah to to, exactly to dissolve in your stomach so it will calm the, the stomach and hopefully Get the acid, acid in there. Exactly, which right. is a common, um, as, you, as you age, your digestion ages, so things that you possibly could have tolerated younger um, become more of an issue. Milk is a very common thing that uh, the, the more you age, the less tolerant it can be on your stomach. And part of that is just simply because you don't drink as much. You don't get as much dairy in, but th- there could be other factors. Um, also, as you age, and it, and it begins, you know, right when you hit 50 is, is kind of the baseline of where you want to start really thinking about colon cancer okay. and getting a preventative um, colon cancer screening, which is a colonoscopy. Um, and the reason you want to choose a colonoscopy, there's a, there's a lot of different methods, um, but we feel colonoscopy is, is kind of the high water mark on colon cancer screenings because what it can do is you, is the doctors will actually uh, put a camera into your colon and it can detect uh, what are called polyps. Right. And polyps are precancerous cells that you can then eliminate so that, that you can actually prevent cancer through colonoscopies. Some of the other testing, uh, which is better than no testing, but it, it will only detect colon cancer once you have it. And then if it detects that you have it, you get a colonoscopy anyway to find out where it is. Um, So we really um, encourage uh, colon cancer screenings beginning at 50, and then the doctor will tell you how often you should come back. If you have no polyps, it might be 10 years. If you have very uh, small ones or not many of them, it might be five years. If you have more of them, it might be three years. But they they use their education to, to do what they can to prevent colon cancer. Uh, from development. And it, it's gotten better with colonoscopy because I know 10 years ago the, the gallon that you drank is yes. different from because people hear from other people and it's like, oh, I'm not getting that done, but it's something yes. that needs to be it, taken it, care it of. It does need to be taken care of, and there are all kinds of ways to prep for your colon. I mean, there are some people that uh, will begin a, a low fiber diet a few days out. Um, to kind of begin the process. So by the time they're actually drinking the prep, they're ready to do a low dose prep, which might be 16 ounces two different times, which isn't really a lot. Um, There's some preps that you swallow as pill form. There is some as as tolerant as magnesium citrate, which you can mix with uh, Gatorade and do your goal and prep that way. So there's a a lot of things. It's the most common concern right. um, 
And really the doctors are ve- all of the doctors are very good about listening to the patients and finding out what prep is going to work for them. And it might, it might not be the one they would rec- like their favorite, but if it works for you, that's the one they're going to choose. Right. Right. Um, now you do that right in the office. Yes, we do. We do the, um, consultations. We do have a surgery center in our Annapolis office. So we see patients in Chester at the AMC building right by the firehouse in uh-huh. Chester. Um, Dr. Sucre is there every Tuesday. Everybody loves Dr. Sucre. Um, and then Dr. King and Dr. Epstein also see patients there. But they, the procedures are done in our Annapolis office, which is just right over the bridge as you come into Annapolis right off the exit. It's very easy to get to. Um, but they don't have a, we don't have a surgery center um, here. Right. 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 So they need transportation in order right. to go over right. to have the procedure done. Mm-hmm. And, and that's what most people do anyway. When you have a procedure, you've got to have someone that's going to drive you. Right, because you, use, um, that you are under sedation, even right. though it's light sedation, so you're not allowed to uh, drive a car after. And really, you should be monitored for a right. few hours after that. So what other... Um, procedures, digestion things do seniors need to think about? Um, well, I would, you know, we always talk about the importance of, of maintaining a healthy weight. One of the fastest growing uh, diseases and concerns is in, in, across the country is obesity. Yeah. And what obesity does is give you non-alcoholic fatty liver, which can really create a lot of problems. Um, and stunt the, your liver from functioning properly, which is a, a big concern. Um, so weight management is, is very important. But everything, you know, I don't think seniors are any different. Um, but the, as I said, the symptoms become more pronounced the older you get. So perhaps well, if you had celiac your whole life, you have to, be, you have to manage it more as you age. Um, but luckily with age comes wisdom, so you understand the triggers a little better. And the doctors can help you figure them out. Uh, it's, it's harder, though. I mean, I used to be able to eat and not worry about it, the weight. Where right. Your metabolism, as it slows down, you got to cut back on portion sizes. And you got to make right. sure that you're eating healthy. Right. You get the nutrient-dense yes. food, not the, you know, the, the sugar. junk there's food. A, there, the and, junk food. <laughs> and it's very interesting because there's, there's not, it's, it's a growing field, but there's a, a big connection now. They're starting to discover between your uh, gut biome, which is the healthy bacteria living in your stomach, uh-huh. and how that affects your mental health. And there are studies that are beginning to suggest um, your stomach is more in control of your, the way your body is working than your brain is. Now, it's, it, it's a new science, and it's developing, but a lot of the studies are pointing in the direction of, like, literally, you are what you eat. If you have a healthy um, growth in your, you know, not, not growth, but if you have a healthy stomach and the right balance of acids, um, that you have better longev- longevity, there's, um, they're starting to link specific diets to an increase in uh, likelihood of Alzheimer's or way to control dementia with your diet. Um, so that's, that's really a growing, adding nutri- the nutritional component into the digestion is really just uh, taking off as a field. And I think as you, as it develops, that's going to apply more to uh, the older audience than it will the young. Okay. Um, give us contact information if people don't make it to the Senior Summit right. and need to make an appointment. Um, well, number? Our number is 410. 410- Two two four four eight eight seven. Okay, and we have a website dda.net, which is just Digestive Disorders Associates.net. Our office is at the our Chester office is right at the AMC building across from the fire uh, station, right in Chester, right off fifty. Very easy to get to, um, and then again in Annapolis. Uh, but again, our phone number is four one zero two two four. 4887 and the website is dda.net okay all right well we thank you for being a sponsor and yeah hopefully people will stop by your booth and you know see yeah, what we you look have forward to, to offer it. Yeah. or if they have questions to ask about 
right digestion. yeah we'll have lots of literature on uh any of the problems uh, i get briefed by the doctors on on what limited advice i can give right um right yeah you don't want someone to say well she told me <laughs> no no i have no medical background at all so uh what i would say is you know I, all the doctors have different specialties um so at best i would recommend a specific doctor but dr Sucre over here on the eastern shore uh by far most people come to my booth and they they pick out dr Sucre and they talk about how much they love him he's an interesting character <laughs> to say the least well that's a good thing that is a good thing <laughs> All right. Well, we thank you for coming in, and hopefully we'll see you at the summit. Yep. Sounds good. Thanks. Friday, May 18th, from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Queen Anne's County 4-H Park. Woo!